to YouTube and speak my opinion on topics. Hi, I'm Smooth J. You know what time it is. It's Football Friday. For more content like this and more, check out that description below. Let's get into it though. We gonna do the NFC South today. It's gonna be a crazy division. It's gonna be kind of like the Pac-12. I know there's a lot of you Southern Californians out there. Hey, it's gonna be like the Pac-12. Bombs away. Bombs away on them, man. I'm telling you. With the Bucks, with the Saints, with the Falcons, those three offenses are gonna be like the top three in the league with Kansas City. Bombing away. Julio, Mike Thomas, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. They got the boys on the offensive side. I'm telling you, they got the boys. I just, I don't know about the defenses in the division. The defenses are going to be what separates the good, the great, and the bad. And I just don't see Carolina being on the offensive level with the other three teams. And I don't see them being on the defensive level of them, man. Especially with the first-time head coach, Teddy Bridgewater, back in the starting role after he was sitting behind Drew Brees for two years. We'll see. I just think Tampa and New Orleans and Atlanta, they're all three just going to be bunched up and going to be fighting, going to be scrapping and fighting. Offense is going to be scoring 50 points a game. It's just going to be crazy. Matt Ryan, Tom Brady, Drew Brees. They got quarterbacks in that division, man. Great quarterbacks, mind you. All-time greats. But, hey, I just think it's going to make my boy Jeremy, my boy Nick, very upset. I just think Tampa Bay going to get y'all this year. They're going to get the division crown. They're going to wear it. And it's just because Tom Brady, he's got weapons. They got offensive line help for the man. Their defense is probably the best in the division by far. I mean, Levante David, one of my favorite linebackers in the league. He's underrated. I mean, Mike Evans, very underrated as wide receiver. Definitely top five. Chris Godwin went to the Pro Bowl last year. O.J. Howard, Cameron Bray. I mean, Gronk is back. They are going to be lethal. Going to be one of the best teams in the NFC West. They're going to go 11-5, and five, my, in my opinion. In my opinion, 11-5 and five is where they going to be at. Because they have... All the weapons, offense, defense, special teams, they got it all to make a deep run. They could possibly get to the Super Bowl in Tampa Bay. That would be something. First time a team would do that. New Orleans, don't worry. You're going to be right behind them. I got y'all at 9-7. and seven. Drew Brees is just kind of on a downward slope. I think Tom Brady has something to prove. Drew Brees, on the other hand, he might be getting his head taken off night night he might not even survive he might not after the comments he made i mean he can't do it drew Brees can't do it own team members going after him hey they might just have a tough year i think y'all gonna go 97 one game above 500 just you might get into the playoffs. You never know. It's just going to be how the rest of the NFC shakes out. You guys are going to split with Tampa Bay. That's a given. And other than that, I don't know. I don't know. This division is very tough. Very tough to kind of break down. Because it's all going to come down to defense. All going to come down to defense. They all have good head coaches besides Carolina. I mean, Bruce Arians, Sean Payton, Dan Quinn. All of them have been to a Super Bowl. All of them. 
And so they have Super Bowl head coaches. They even have Super Bowl quarterbacks on all three of those teams. So New Orleans, don't take it the wrong way. Ever since what happened to the Rams two years ago, it's just Drew Brees has not looked the same. He's gotten hurt, and he had to put in Taysom Hill, Teddy B, and now you got Jameis. So 9-7 and seven is kind of where I have you guys falling. It's... It's the perfect spot because Atlanta's going to be nipping at y'all heels at 8 and 8. 8 and 8. ATL coming in in third place. Something's in my eye. But, hey, Atlanta, let's see what happens. Dan Quinn, you're supposed to be a defensive guru coming from Seattle. Pete Carroll, you got to get it. You got to get it right. Ever since that Super Bowl, man, 28-3, to has not looked right. Has not been good for Atlanta. You guys have the talent. Matt Ryan, Julio, Calvin Ridley, the Todd Father is there. The Todd Father, baby. He's there. You got a squad. Deion Jones, middle linebacker. He's great. The defense, Dan Quinn. Just come through on the defense. Y'all could even go 10 and 6. Challenge Tampa Bay. Because New Orleans is going to have a tough time. That Drew Brees comment is going to come back and bite y'all in the ass. I'm telling y'all. It's going to bite them in the ass. So Atlanta, you have a chance. 8 and 8. That's where me, Smooth J, has y'all at. But last place, Carolina. Bringing up the rear. I just don't know what Matt Rule's about coming from Baylor. He turned him around a little bit. But college coaches, they don't do very well in the NFL. It's a grown man's league, grown man's sport. You got to know what you're doing. Teddy Bridgewater, did you learn from Drew Brees the right way? Did he show you the way? Did he show you the path? We're going to find out. Christian McCaffrey, you do what you do. You're special. 1,000 yards receiving, 1,000 yards rushing. First to do that, I think. I mean, what else can you say about the man? Ed, McC Ed McCaffrey's son. You Broncos fans know. Like Shannon Sharp, man. He knows Christian McCaffrey, and he says, that boy is a nice. He's nice. He's special. He can do things that others can't. Number two running back in the league behind Saquon. But that's my breakdown of the NFC South. I hope you guys liked it. I just think 11-5 Tampa Bay, New Orleans 9-7, Atlanta 8-8. Eight eight. If your defense can come to play, y'all can go 10-6 and six maybe. And Carolina 6-10 and kind of just... On the up and up. On the up and up. Christian McCaffrey, keep doing what you're doing. Until next time, though, this has been Speak My Opinion on Topics. Hi, I'm Smooth J. Football Friday. Like and subscribe to the channel. We out.